Hello, it's Head the Ball on TV again. Today we're going to put some new discs and pads on the Ford Fiesta Mark 7. We've got me jack and some nice dandy axle stands. Got a few spanners out. Obviously I'll need those. We've got the uh, new brake pads. There we go. We've got some uh, nice new discs. Nice and shiny. I'm going to get them out of here and wipe any grease off them with uh, we've got some methylated spirits to degrease them we don't want to get any grease on the new brake pads now most important when you do a job like this is you've got to have some nice loud music Unfortunately, uh, YouTube don't like the music, we get in trouble with the copyright. So, have to save that, I'll put that on while I'm doing the job. And finally, to finish off, uh, we've got to finish it off with the beer. You can't do the job without the beer, I'll tell you more about that later. That's a special treat if we get the job done nicely. Have you seen this? Homer Simpson bottle opener try it out later. First of all I'm just loosening the wheel nuts before I jack the car up. Do you like deep purple? Uh, come here, come here a minute. Well just listen what you're missing. handbrake on so the car doesn't move I'm going to jack it up and then I put these axle stands under as well so it's not collapsing on me I need to stay safe so I can drink the beer here's a look underneath See where I've jacked it. I'm gonna pull the pull the jack out and leave the axle stand nice and tasty, very very tasty. Right, got the wheels off. Gonna have a look around. bit of corrosion mm. so this wire coming down there that's that wire is going to be for a ABS sensor somewhere around the back so be careful not to upset that and then we've got the uh, brake hose coming down to feed the caliper and uh, there's a retaining bolt holding the, the hose there. We've got to undo that in a minute. I'll clean it up. Uh, I'm going to take the caliper off. Got some tools ready. So uh, I made a guess to begin with. We've got spanners 19 millimeter, 12, 11, 10. Got a nice dandy wire brush to clean things up. And then we've got some uh, three in one penetrating spray. And we've got the old WD-40 to free things up. And I'm gonna have to loosen this uh, this bleed nipple at some point uh, when we take the caliper off. So I'm just gonna check I can loosen that. <coughs> There we go, that's all right. It's, that is uh, 11 millimeter, that one. This one 
uh, is 10 millimeter. I wish I could turn the music up. We've got uh, Thin Lizzy on at the moment playing the rocker. Fantastic. I've got a bit of old coat hanger and I'm going to tie this up round the, the coil spring up there ready to attach the caliper so it's not dangling on the brake hose when I take it off. We've got a 19mm spanner on there holding that and a 12mm ring spanner round the back. Oh. So when I undo this and the same at the bottom of the caliper the whole caliper should come out from the centre. That was surprisingly easy. Uh, the car's five years old, but I would have expected uh, that to be a bit more tricky to undo. And then this is our caliper. Oh, that just comes off nice and dandy. And then I'm going to support the caliper with my piece of old coat hanger. Easy peasy. I need the beer. I've got to get this job finished. I need beer. There's one pad out. There's the rear pad out. I'll check if these these shims on the back, uh, I might be able to clip those on the new brake pads if there's none that came with them, we'll see. And then we've got some clips here. I think, uh, we gently ease these clips off. There we go, that's the bottom clip and the top clip. Ah, there we are. Next, I think we may have to take this off in order to get the disc off. I'm going to try and relieve the disc, to, ready to bring it off, but then I'm going to have to un unbolt this uh, caliper bracket as well. Um, but the disc is quite tight on so I don't know if this is the right way or not but if I get a screwdriver in there and one in there I'm wiggling that and turning it periodically and wiggling it and the disc the disc is coming loose the bolts round the back are 15 millimeter, and uh, as I imagined, I think they're sealed with thread locking compound. So I've had to get uh, a socket set on it and a big beastie spanner to give it a bang. And that's released the top bolt, and then we'll release the bottom bolt. And that's the bolt that's holding it in from behind. Quite a big beastie. Here we go. There's a second bolt out. And then this bracket comes off completely, so that'll be a little bit easier to, to clean up with the wire brush. And then finally, the disc, if we're lucky, should just come off. Give it a little bit of a wiggle. Here we go. And as they say in Withenshaw, 
Nice one! I'm going to compare these old discs with the new ones before I put them on. Uh, I can see in, inside is extremely corroded near the centre. So maybe this is what the garage commented on at the last MOT. We need the new discs to seat on that base really flat. Otherwise, when it's all bolted up, they'll be spinning round and causing some kind of vibrations. So we're getting all the bits of grit or dirt, everything off here, before the new one goes on. I'm holding a rag in the centre to stop any dirt going inside the bearing. No! No! Look, it's just water. I'm saving the beer for when I finish, but it's a warm day today. So, comparing the new one to the old one, make sure they're the right size. Everything looks good. And then uh, it's got a thin layer of grease on. I'm going to clean it with some methylated spirits. Don't want any grease on here at all. If it gets on the uh, new brake pads to contaminate them and reduce the braking effect. I've got the new brake pads and these are the shims off the back of the old brake pads. So the outer one is just here, I've cleaned it up. That can clip on, on my new brake pad. And then the inner one has two shims. So uh, that one clips on first. The second one over the top. Uh, you know this is the inner one because you can see the circular imprint of the cylinder that, that presses against it. Then here's the clips that came off the, uh, what do you call this? It's like a caliper carrier. I've cleaned up these parts with a, with a brush steel brush. So these clips go back, that clips in, in the bottom, and then the other clip clips in the other end, just like that. And I'm going to put some copper grease little bit of copper grease or copper slip in the in the grooves where the new where the the new brake pads where they slide into just on the back of the pads got deep purple on. Can't beat a bit of deep purple sir. He makes the work go easier. Right, 
And next, put the carrier on. Got to bolt this on behind. Tighten these up from behind. The other side was quite hard to undo, so we got an extension bar. I presume that it's supposed to be quite a tight torque. Next, just pop the shoes in. So that's the outer one and the inner one Okay, baby. So we take the coat hanger off. That's been holding it out of the way. Right. So to get that on, we're going to have to push the piston in. Before we push the piston in, right here we go. So that's a nice fit and then we get the little bolts 12 millimeter bolts we attach them from behind and we need a 12 millimeter spanner We're just going to give this a last wipe with some more methylated spirits just in case any in case any accidental greasy fingers got on that disc uh, got to make sure there's no contamination And then I think it'll be wheel on and a nice little road test. But I need I need the beer. I really need the beer. Naughty naughty. I nearly forgot the little clamp that holds that hose in place. Everything's important. This is the 10 millimeter bolt. Right, that really is a neat little job. Right, checking it down. And then just got to check all these wheel nuts are nice and tight.
Right, I've tightened all the wheel nuts. Only thing left to do now is check the fluid. It's gone a little bit warm. I think I might have to look if there's another one in the fridge. No, 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 you stupid boy. Oh, he means you should check the fluid. We can deal with the beer later. This is Head the Ball TV. I mean, what do you expect? It's actually a little bit over the max. So... I might siphon a little bit out.